Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to Broken Arrow. The open beta is almost here and as a part of the introduction to the open beta, I got invited by the developers to do a content creator stream against the devs. Now we mixed the teams up a bit, but you might recognize FLX, that's Felix, he's the creative director of the game. Vulcan HD Gaming is definitely one you'll probably know. We have Yogdog and Edmund. Now the enemy team, oh boy. Uh, we got Noise Guy, we have Bolt Sauce, and we have Devil Dog Gamer, and two of their developers slash testers. So we are up for a heck of a fight. And, um, well, especially Noise Guy, he's already played a lot during the closed beta, so he's very well versed in the game. I am not, as you're about to see. But yeah, well, it's been quite well. There, there are names for uh... <laughs> Ooh, a match is found. Yes, let's go. Have fun, guys. All right, for you. So we have, we need to vote. Baltisk is a small map. Parnu is very urban, and Chernyakovsk is a night map, but more open. Well, Looks like they, it's they, be they, they have made they have made their <laughs> choice on Parnu apparently. <laughs> is these the same maps from the demo from the the close one? Uh, yes, except I've modified. There were two the two least popular maps. I've uh, I've modified them a bit, right? Because basically, the, during the close beta, I've been trying stuff as as different as possible, and uh, and uh, now it's uh... now quick edit. Here's one of the very neat features from Broken Arrow. When the game is about to start, you get a minute to discuss with your team, provided you're on Discord, and if not, using these communication lines, what the plan is going to be. You can use arrows, you can draw boxes, you can make whole battle plans and easily share those with your team. You can also use this time to study what entity slash specializations the enemy players are going to have. So if you see that they might have, I don't know, in the full version eventually a couple of airborne decks or airborne specializations, I should say, because they're not strict airborne decks, you can already start planning a way to counter that. So in these 60 seconds, it's going to get busy. You're building plans, you are trying to figure out where to start, and you're trying to study the enemy, all in 60 seconds. But it's a nice feature to have, because most of the games don't really have that. Uh, well, you see the, the super wide maps where people didn't know where to go, they were a bit lost in this. So generally, so points will be located here, 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 and here, by the way. Okay. And the spawns are here, here. Can you not change the deck yet in the loading? Not yet, because now you see the deck of the enemy. And uh, we don't want to see like, oh, I pick this, you pick that, you pick that, I pick this, you see. That. Now, now it's set. We will add uh, um, an extra uh, a step, however, after picking the map, where you still don't see the, the deck of the enemy, but you can um, change yours because Many people forget about uh, selecting their deck during the map, map vault. I'm gonna unmute comms on stream, so everyone can All say right. hi. <laughs> All I'm right. Bringing some air power to begin with, just to make sure that we uh, shoot down any of our points. I'm Same. going for the first point here. Oh, <laughs> you you should wait a bit before uh, st starting with the the cargo plane. Maybe w wait a bit that we secure the air first. What you can do is, you know, you, you can console it by uh, you need to right click on the 3D model, by the way, not the the label, and wait a bit, prepare the purchase, and uh, and when it's uh, how do you cancel that? <laughs> right click on the 3D model of the ghost. Okay, gotcha. Get keep your points. It will always be time to to send more uh, after that. And if they vastly outnumber us, it's no use to, to sacrifice our planes. It's best to step back a bit and, uh, and, and fall back in our, in our air. Okay. One enemy plane. Two. They're messing in the back, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You have long range missiles on the Sukhoi, so you can, like, Okay, they are falling back. So they, they, you can send the, the, you can send your your cargo plane now. Still, since 
Yeah, I already ordered some boomerangs instead. Alright. One hornet coming in. You lure them back to the start area. I've yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. but anti air. <laughs> Cheeky helicopter on the side here. Eh? Yep. I'm going to focus on this uh, area. All the high rises. Okay, so we definitely have the air power here. I think they probably got a lot of ground vehicles. They didn't seem to have that much aircraft. Yep. And if you want to bring stuff with uh, helicopters, we we have these guys, so you can uh, you can forward deploy stuff. Quick pause here, because I zoomed in all the way to have a good look at the unit model. Games like these, I feel, suffer a little bit from constantly having to zoom out and you're basically starting to shuffle labels around on the screen. You don't really get to see the units and how much detail they have. Especially in a game like Broken Arrow, I would recommend that every now and then you zoom in, because every change that you make to the vehicle, additional armor, additional weapon systems, or a change in weapon systems, change in loadout, it all gets taken into account when you actually look at the unit. But because you're always so focused on the strategic view, you might not really get to see it. So if there's a lull in the fighting or if your units are getting deployed, zoom in. Just have a look at the units. Before we're deploying a Termata into their lines. Sorry, what? There's an Armata being spawned in all the way over there. Oh yeah, it's well, it's a bug. It's um, it's a ghost of uh, an Armata that was bought that stays in the zero zero point of the map. Right. No, no. Take that. Cheeky on it. Oh. This one hurted me. Well, this is pretty bad. Oh, got <laughs> you, <laughs> All right. My Russian plane just unloaded a US pilot. Yeah, we, uh, in this version we have actually a, a generic pilot for all the, uh, the units right. of the game. It's the kind of stuff that you are... Yeah, it, it's different uh, in the... Um, in the newest version, but not yet in the in the beta in the beta build. Enemy taking the point. Yep. Now, in this little bit of the video, you see me finicking around with the unload button. If you press unload in this game, you unload the unit after you click on a location. So in Warno, it's pretty similar. You press Y and the unit fast moves to a position and then unloads there. In this game, it is U, so unload and then click, as opposed to, for example, War Game, where you press U and the unit instantly unloads. Keep these changes in mind. Okay, I have a full player. Who's on the far left here with me with all the T-15s? Uh, that's me. All right. So yeah. Okay, destroy the barbarous out for the lads. That's what we're doing. Yep. Be careful. They have plenty of um, of anti air on my position here. I'm hoping that they send fighters to take out my helicopters and they will just blunder oh. straight into my AA. Bombers to destroy my infantry. Oh, and here it comes. <laughs> Okay, well, we are doing pretty bad on the right side. I think we'll have to to try to to hold on uh, on this line of defense. Yep. Uh, we regroup and Pushing then push, on the left. push slowly. Yeah. Well, there's some troops there. Bradley's coming up on our right. Can you see whose troops you're fighting? By the way, your dog managed to uh, to sneak a K52 in the back. It's going to be 
interesting if you manage to get the... if you spot ballistic missiles or long-range anti-air in the back. You'll do a, a lot of damage. So yeah, and attack him. So we can Catch! Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good copy. Here it is. Second attack Ems is here, so you have two two attack Ems marked. LAD on the left, careful with your helicopter there. One down, going for a second. Oh, cool. Yeah, go for the second, die, they react <coughs> and... Uh... I'm going to break in here again. All the units that you see over on the infantry tab can be brought in with any of the vehicles that you can see right next to them. Some of them can even be brought in on the same vehicle. This gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, a vehicle such as the one that you're looking at, the Kamaz 6560, has 28 seats. Um, my Gvardi Modestrelki don't need that many seats. So if you have smaller units, for example the Metis teams, I could bring all three in one transport. This has some advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, you can call in your units cheaper. And if you just need one big group of units brought in, why not use one vehicle? Well, and there's the downside, if that one vehicle gets destroyed, all of your units do too. So early in the battle, you might have seen that I called in a bunch of VDV on a cargo plane. The cargo plane got shot down and I lost all the VDV with it. Now when I say lose, it doesn't mean that the unit's gone forever, because very slowly they cycle back into your deck. But of course, at the present time in the tactical sphere, the units were dead and I couldn't actually use them. Another another starting point for uh, pack two. Got it. Two attack them still. Okay, good. The pack two cannot doesn't. Oh, you have a super cobra coming back for you. You should evacuate and try to get out. From. I was too surrounded there. I think. What we need to be careful is about these axes because we are absolutely unprotected here. So, your dog, if you can send your BMD to um, to to this position to secure it. Yeah, it's on the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You can't see who you're fighting, can you? Uh, in buildings, no, the, the the feedback is not good. But if you place your your cursor on an enemy unit on the total left of the screen. Uh, we, we display his name uh, it, as a placeholder. Later it will be displayed on the mouse. Okay. I've ordered a, a group of drones so we can scout this point here. Mm -hmm. Edmond, I see that you have uh, two uh, heavy anti-air. There is a radar button on it if you want to double the range. However, that makes you... Um, that makes you vulnerable to anti-radiation missiles. So, if I yell "Sid, Sid, Sid," you need to turn off the radar immediately. I do. I do have a couple of uh, tung tungusters, so it's uh, it's not like I'm completely vulnerable to aircraft. And they do come in with radar turned off, though. Yeah, yeah. The same. Your tunguska has the radar turned off. And in this version of the game, hints for the for the future, the seed missiles cannot be intercepted. Yeah, I saw an anti-air unit being able to target missiles. You, yes, but not all of them. Like ballistic missiles, they can be intercepted by uh, by heavy anti-air. Right. And um, actually, I'll play left. I'm bringing a supply truck up to the front line to repair with. 
Oh, I just nailed the fire. Yeah. And also, yeah, by the way, Edmond, when, when one of your units has uh, fired, especially a heavy uh, anti-air unit, it's best to, to move after that because here he, he bombed the position where your unit has dropped, has fired from. He bombed blindly because you didn't move. I'm bringing some artillery uh, right side. So I'd say our objective, uh, first objective is to take control of these uh, buildings on the right side. From there we can control the, the crossing of this bridge and prevent uh, the enemy from reinforcing on the left side because uh, Vulcan and, and Stels are, are doing pretty well on this side. So we, we need to make sure that they, they don't get uh, attacked by too many enemies at the same time. Quick word on the supplies, you can see that I brought in a truck with 3000 kilograms of supplies. This can be used to resupply your infantry, it can be used to reinforce your infantry, it can be used to repair tanks. In fact, later on it's going to become crucial to repair a tank. A tank either has a damaged engine or it has a damaged track. It cannot move either way. In order to repair that, you're going to have to bring logistics over, which means you're going to have to either move up the front line or smoke up that tank in order to bring those logistics over. It's going to be dangerous. Logistics in this game, especially if you're coming from Wargame, they're more fluid, I would say, and at the same time more stationary. They're more fluid because you can transport them in helicopters, in Ospreys, in cargo trucks, and what have you, but you have to unload them first. So a truck has to unload them onto the ground and then your infantry or vehicles can use them. Whereas, for example, with Wargame or Warno, you don't actually have to do that. You do have to land the helicopter carrying the supplies or park the truck and then units will start to use them. This game works just a little bit different. We got Force Recon in the, in the trees near our defensive position on the right hand side. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, Falcon Zero and Mata still around. Ah, uh, yeah, I just had to smoke here. Yeah, I gotta fix it up. I'm seeing what? Two Abrams now? Three? Two SCP 3s. I'll bring in uh, another T90 in a second. Let me infantry in the woods here. There goes my T14. Yeah, you got the jet as well. Anybody have enough points to send an ASF left? Uh, no, sorry. We're in a few seconds, but it's going to be too, la too late. Ballistic missile right side. Okay, I got an ASAF in the air, I will keep it. Oh, never mind. I 
feel like I'm missing notifications of units dying. Is that not a thing? Uh, left side, it's pretty... Uh, your unit's dying, or...? Yeah, my unit's dying. Normally it's left side, but it's pretty... Uh, it's, it's not very visible, like, super, like I just lost my fighter, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. back with the armata, um, uh, your dog. I, I have placed uh, supplies for you here if you want, if you need. Thanks. Just smoked off. It's retreating now. Yeah. We got a helicopter flank coming in on the east. Mm, okay, see that. Well, it should be it should be intercepted now. Right? Scout sniper deployed, I'll try and kill it now. The destroyed buildings give you less cover? No, but generally it has less altitude. Right. Start doing something about those F-35s. We got a tank push on the east side. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, more than fire tanks. You got an... All you have armata here, you should... Oh, there's one Zep-3, two Zep-3, so yeah, th these two are very dangerous. And they have APS, so they can soak some uh, infantry rockets. I think I just, I just blunted them. Mm, yeah. uh, Stealth and Vulcan, do you know if you have, um, if you have enemy presence in these buildings? If no, if, I have no idea. No, no. Okay, uh, I will try to to set up here to um, to secure your flank.
Okay, I'm just holding them here because uh, if you if you guys push forward and win on the left, then as long as we hold on the right, then we're good. Yeah, yeah. But it would be easier. Breaking these Abrams right now. That whole pushing on the left thing is tricky. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's far away from our line, so it's going to be really tough to um, to do that. Seed, seed. Boom. One and Chia down. Ballistic missiles starting from here. Can you destroy supplies? You can destroy with artillery, yes. Uh, like I'm, I'm actually approaching with a artillery piece to destroy their supply in the back. Hmm. See? No more. No more supply. If you have target for artillery on the left, you tell me that. What kind of order you got? Definitely, they're definitely doing well in the air. Struggling right now. If those uh, M1A2s retreat to the left, I can catch it with the corner. Oh, I got them! Yeah, they're definitely trying. Right. I just nailed two aircraft, and I think a third one is next on the menu. Oh, that's one of the M1A2s down. We got a large push on the on the east side here. Lane left, 35. <laughs> I'm a little bit light now on this left side. I'm actually out of anti aircraft missiles. <laughs> I need to uh, load up. There's still a lab on the left side. Again? Okay. Mm. Wow, they don't like my spy drones very much. Placed it then. 
maybe what we can do uh, on the left is uh, switch your assault to secure this point in priority and that way we can uh, attack on this area from two flanks like you shoot over the river and we shoot uh, from the from the forest Look, and they might have recon here somewhere. I feel like our units in the back are getting attacked a bit too much. Yeah, there's just like a couple things on the left. No, it's only it's only two. There's like the the lav at the back, and then there's like a lav further up. It's like ahead of my infantry. I don't think there's anything else. There's something spotting. Cause I just lost the T14 all the way in the back. Let me get some recon in. Got an infantry push on the east in the woods here. You can mark, you have markers above the minimap, you can click and place like here, and that way we know where here is. I'm so used to war game when you have a marker appearing, you push spacebar and you jump to it, but that's not a factor here. Yeah, not a factor. In fact, the problem is that they shoot you with ballistic missiles, and since your radar is not activated, you, you take the ballistic missile on your tank all the time. Hmm. You need to activate the radars to, uh, to make sure that you, uh, well, you don't take the shot. Our whole left flank is coming apart. Okay. Ballistic missile right side. So here, if you don't have any anti, if you don't have any radar, Thanks. you're going to take it on the face again. Okay, I intercepted. <laughs> okay. Ballistic missile. I'm so used to B being back that I think I, I think I some uh, half my army back to base. Yeah, I changed my controls before we played today. Yeah, we're struggling on the left now. Yes, there's yep. SCPs that are... Ballistic missile kill. right side. The M1A2 is refusing yeah. today. You just uh, parked just out on the road as well. I just need to get like three T-ATUs and just slam them. Like with Kinetic, like if we, we can overwrite... If you get close enough. ...with cheap tanks. Yep. Снабжение 
Man, these anti-aircraft guns are thirsty. <laughs> Keep running out of ammo. We have two sub V3 trophy, we need to ambush them here. We need to attack all at once. Here we go. Okay, we have a we have a plane here that is a uh, tank. Sorry, that is uh, that is immobilized. We can finish it. Bradley's in the forest here. Lots of them. Uh, and uh, M1A ones. Cool. Well, if you could refocus your attention on this area, that, that would help too. Trophy push on the left. There's three of them. forward here.
I feel free to use the supply to fix up your tanks. Thanks. Edmond, can you really uh, switch because you're far too to the right? In fact, we um, the important part of the map is really to sh to to be this middle part, and you're really you see it. It feels like you're safer there, but it's just because there are no enemy there because there's nothing of interest. There's a there's a huge amount of enemies right here. Yeah, but the the important part where you should be fighting is here. Because when you f when you hold this, you can hold this position of the high riser, which then gives you access to the bridge. You see. So if you focus too much to the right, in fact, they hold you in a position that is advantageous for them. And they, as long as you fight there, that they have no interest to to do anything else than continue to to maintain you there. You need some infantry to to send in the buildings, and from the buildings you you push somewhere else. But here, like. You're actually being pushed outside of the map. Okay, alright, well. I'll push up now. Yeah, that ballistic missile mm -hmm. just spanked us. Jesus. <laughs> 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 and, and they have their superiority, like same, you see, the entirety of our defense is on the total right side, so the total, the, the left flank is totally open to air. Uh, to your uh, attacks. I did uh, have some range and you didn't best to hold. Not yeah, just attacks, it's really. It's just that you, you must be 2 versus 3 uh, at this point because the. You think Tashanka, Bolt Sauce. I think it's two players on the left side. Mm. They're running us over now. Oh, yeah. I got no units left. I'm bringing reinforcements as I can, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, they're capping the zone. I have a Boratino coming to clear the zone and then don't attack right now, try to try to regroup. It's going to be a hard one. I tell all my units, all one of them to regroup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the range of an armata? Why? If I'm attacking ground with an armata, it says I only have a range of 600 meters? Oh no, it's because it's giving you the range of the machine gun. Right, okay. I suppose smart bombs also hit helicopters? If you could, it's really not the best weapon for that. My helicopters keep getting bombed by F-35s, what are they using? Mm, smart bomb plus laser guidance. Laser guidance? Okay. So the... Do they have eyes I on them? The M-182s. They can see us with that. It's more than that. I mean, sure they can see us, but they're lasing us. Mm. With the plane itself, oh fuck, we Oh, the F-35 yeah. does it. Enemy supply here. Mm. 
And they are capturing our base, by the way. We have our base. Yeah, yeah, in the back, like they, they. Um... Oh, they got the MTBR they, they, in there, yeah. yeah they... it, this, this is what I said. They, they, in fact, they don't really care about the right side. All they, they pushed this axis. You see. Oh, they, they flanked. No, they went straight forward. <laughs> Just get the DMD2 in there, it should be fine. Just drive straight in. Yeah, well, I have helicopters coming. It's probably just... No, it's uh, some marines, a bit of marines as well. Well, a lot of marines, actually. Well... We can clean that with helicopters, easy. Just don't go in the middle of the... Uh, Edmund infantry can hit the the helicopters with their rockets so don't fly just over the infantry well they are going for the kill oh yeah Gotta get those infantry in there or we're gonna lose. Is the number at the top left under the amount of points you have how much you gain per minute? Uh, yes, it's your... Yeah, that's it. Because it says 143, but I just did a timer and I only got about 80. It's it's this this value depends on the amount of um, uh, of units you have on the field and units you've lost. So the the more units you play with, the less income you have. And if you lose them, well, they. I think my tank is tracked. How long does it take to fix them? Forever until you repair it. You need logistics. Yeah, Spring supply, yeah. 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 Lovely. These uh, M180s have been so difficult to deal with yeah. in the entire game. We seem to use combined arms. I'm not really sure what other weapon system we should have used. And the other way is just sure getting it. superiority and blowing them yeah. up that way. They are better. Like we we lost the air completely because uh, the they destroyed the uh, Edmonds and here permanently, and there is a problem of positioning in our team. Like they they really focused on the objective while we, we were spread on a on a position that we are not uh, really necessary. I've been struggling with frame rates the last fifteen minutes. So really well, on this on the side they had a good uh, good push, but then it's uh, it's over. <laughs> no. Okay, well. Oh, we still got three minutes. We can, uh, we might be able to get this point here. That's going to be hard. Someone has an airdrop. <laughs> we can finish. There are more tasks here that we, we can, uh, we can destroy. Did I kill one of those? No. I just lost sight of sight. <laughs> Oh, 
One thing I'm missing from this game relative to War Game, sorry for the comparison, is the unit card that shows you what the weapon system ranges are. Yeah, well, normally it's it's uh, when you click uh, the the picture of the of the unit at the bottom, but we 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 are in the process of uh, improving the this uh, panel, and the new panel doesn't have the old function, which was exactly what you described. Right. Okay. So it is coming. Yeah, it's coming back actually. <laughs> it, it, it was there at some point. I got a position here if you want to push up. Yep, well, that's one minute, it's going to be too short, but we can try. Problem is that they are probably very well entrenched in this. Uh, as usual, you see, they are probably very well entrenched in this area, which we should have been focusing. Because now it's it's going to to be in our way to. Well, they're obviously worried because they're helicopter helicoptering troops in. Oh, sorry. We push at the grenade launchers. <laughs> Go get him. Yes. Finally. M182 set three down. Goodbye, K fifty two. <laughs> Holy shit. And it's over. There we go. <laughs> oh, we, they didn't finish us at least, so. So that was my first game in the open beta. I have made a ton of mistakes um, and got punished for it by Mr. Noise Guy, as you can imagine. Uh, you can see that he'll kill, his kill death ratio is 7. Mine is 0.28. Unit distribution was bad. Um, the way that I was sending in the units was probably bad. The way that I pressed B in order to send units back, as in I thought I was reversing them, but they actually moved back to HQ, so they left the battlefield. Uh, that could have been done a little different. I learned a ton, this game. And that's how I think you should treat your first, I don't know, 10, maybe 50 games. You're going to have a lot of information on the screen that's new to you. And I find this with many games. It just takes a little bit while to get the hang of it. To figure out, ah, okay, that's the area I need to be paying attention to. These are the units I might be needing. And this is the type of information that I should be giving to other players. What sort of information do they need to fulfill their role better or help me better? There's just a lot of info and it is a new game. So I'm going to give myself um, a lot of time to figure out the game and learn more about it and figure out how to do better. Hope you guys will enjoy the open beta. It is coming very soon. And um, well, you might encounter me there as I'll be playing it a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more.